Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm working for Metros. Excellent. Metros has now more than 50 years experience in manufacturing and designing valve test benches. And we would like to share our experience with you. Most people of you may know already one of our smallest safety relief valve test benches, SVM4100. 4 means 4 tons maximum clamping force and 100 is the maximum diameter we are able to test on this test bench DN100 or 4 inch. Test pressures can be up to 600 bar on smaller diameters but even so on a DN100 or 4 inch valve you still can test up to 30 bar. With a special extension this test bench can also be used for water test in a standard version you can use nitrogen bottle or even so an external compressor. It's the ideal solution to be mobile with the safety valve test bench. In this reason we have named SVM safety valve mobile. But do you know also this version? This is our newest add-on SVM4100E, E for extension. Also here we have a maximum clamping force of 4 tons, which allows me to test with the same pressures as we can do for safety relief valves. This system consists of two distant bolts, the head beam with a threaded spindle and hand wheel, the upper o-ring sealing plate with an integrated needle valve, which allows me to fill a shutoff valve properly and also to control here in the outlet the seat leakage test, a distance piece for the lower o-ring sealing plate and a template which helps me to adjust here this distance bolt in a proper manner. Also here it might be very useful to have a version with water test so in this way I can also perform a shell test on the small test rig which gives me a very high flexibility. How to transform the SVM4100 into the e-version, I'm going to show you right now. First of all, you have to remove the clamping claws. Remove the o-ring sealing plate, take the distant bolts and slide them into the slots where the clamping claws have been placed before. Now use the template to adjust the distant bolts to the center of the test bench. Tighten these firmly and remove the template. Now you can replace also the smaller ceiling plate or you can use the distance piece, put the ceiling plate onto the top and this will reduce the length of the clamping especially when you want to test smaller shutoff or control valves. Remove the nuts of the distant bolts you can take the head beam and place it onto the distant bolts. Replace the washers and the fastening nuts. Tighten these firmly. And now you are ready to test shutoff and control valves on this small test bench. With the hand wheel I can adjust now easily the clamping lengths, independent if I would like to test a small butterfly valve, for example this one here, or if I would like to clamp a bigger shutoff valve. Center it and clamp it 
you can perform, for example, a seed leakage test on this shutter valve, close the valve firmly, open the needle valve of the head beam sealing head, connect our bubble counter with the quick coupling. You can increase the test pressure on the needle valve head, close the outlet valve, increase to a test pressure of three or three and a half bar, and check if there's a leakage on the bubble counter. In our case, this shutter valve is not sealing properly. Release the pressure and the test is done. And when you have finished your tests with control or shutter valves, you can remove the head beam within a few minutes and continue working with your valve test bench for testing safety relief valves. Simply loosen the nuts, lift the head beam, remove the distance bolt, untighten the distant bolts and remove them. Now you can replace your standard clamping cloth. For threaded valve ends, you can use also our threaded adapters. These are available in NPT or BSP threads, male or female threads. So as you can see, the additional head beam for the SVM4100 or even so for the SVM4250 can be very useful. If you are testing today only safety relief valves on this test bench, you will be able to test as well shutoff valves, control valves, smaller butterfly valves or anything you may, may need for valve service. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you liked it, please subscribe also on our YouTube channel or even so to our newsletter then you will be contacted at any time when we have some new videos online or even some new developments on our test benches. Please remember, this video is not replacing the machine manual. Read this carefully and accept at any time your safety regulations in your surrounding. Please stay safe, over and out. Excellent.